Hi everyone, so this video is going to be my March favourites. Now, as you can probably tell, I am not very well. I've had a cold. Actually, I had a cold like two weeks ago, and I think my body must have like suppressed it because it's come back with a vengeance, and now I've had a really bad cough for the last few days and kind of lost my voice. So if you can put up with me sounding like a man, uh, then this is my monthly favourites. If not, then I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I didn't want to miss doing this because I kind of have some products I'd really been loving this month so I wanted to show you but yeah I hope you guys don't mind but I sound like a man so the first thing that I've been loving and this is kind of an old one I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this product and it's um, Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel or Bronze Universal which it used to be called although it still does say Bronze Universal on there as well basically this is Chanel's cream bronzer and it looks like that mine kind of looks a bit funny because if you guys have this, then you'll know um, it likes to attract brush hairs. So if you use this with a brush that's shed slightly, the hairs get stuck in it. Um, and every now and again, I just kind of run a cotton bud over the top, kind of zigzagging and just pick up all the stray hairs because it's kind of gross. And I did that just before this video, so it wouldn't look quite as gross. So that's why it looks weird. But um, yeah, I kind of have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this bronzer because... Sometimes I think it's kind of too orange for my skin, but then as soon as I start wanting a tan, like now, like the beginning of spring, the sun comes out, I'm like, oh, a bit of tan. Um, I always tend to go back to this. The packaging is gorgeous too. So that's from Chanel. So the next thing I've been using, I think pretty much every single day this month to apply my foundation, and I am so in love with this. It's a brush from Gemma Kid Pro, and it looks like this. It's like a mini flat top brush, and what this reminds me of, if you guys have tried... <laughs> Um, Elf's Pro, no, Elf Studio Powder Brush, which a lot of people like to use their foundation. It's like a tiny, tiny version of that. And honestly, this is my favourite brush for applying foundation. Um, I don't know whether ever. I used to love the 187, but after using this, the 187 just seems so big and, like, not very precise. Um, and I just kind of, obviously, like, buff in my foundation in circular motions. It just works so well. It's number nine, I don't know the exact name of it. I think you can get these on feelunique.com, but you can definitely get them in Space NK as well. I'll put links to everything in the information bar below. I just love how it has a pink, what's this called, feral, I think. Um, yeah, I just love that. I think it looks so nice. So, been loving that. The next thing, isn't really a monthly favourite because I only got it like last week, but um, I am so in love with it. It's the Bobbi Brown Modern Classic Palette, which Ingrid sent me. Um, I thought I would include this just because there's a few colours in here that I've been using all the time. The first one is this lip gloss, which is Paisley Rose. Yeah, Paisley Rose. And I had a look online, and I don't think it's actually in their permanent collection, which is really annoying, because I've been wearing it pretty much every day. I'm wearing it now. Um, and as you can see, I'm kind of getting through it already. I've only had this palette for like a week, um, but I've been using it every day. And then the eyeshadow colours I've been really loving are this golden colour here. If I try and show you what that looks like, which looks like that, it's just really pretty and it's quite subtle but also quite eye catching at the same time and then also this really dark, dark, dark brown, it almost looks like it's black, I've been using that as a liner and I absolutely love that, so I'm just totally in love with this palette, I think I could just use this every day for the rest of my life and be happy with eyeshadows and lip gloss because it's so nice. Um, loving that, and then another thing that I've been using all month, I'm trying to remember if this was in my last month's monthly favourites, I don't think it was, um, but I hope not anyway, but it is from Bourjois, and it's their pot, I don't know whether these are called pot rouge, I thought they were, but it just says blush on the back, um, in number 16, I'll take the little brush out, which looks like this, it's a really nice peachy pink, actually it doesn't look like I've used it at all, like, do you guys find that with mineral products, um, because they have that kind of uneven finish. You can use them loads and it doesn't look like you've used them. Um, but I have been using this pretty much every day. Well, not every day, but it's kind of been my go-to blush this month. It looks like that. Nice kind of peachy pink colour, a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm wearing that now as well. And they come with this really cute little brush in there too, which normally I avoid these little brushes like the plague. But this one is actually, it is quite good because it kind of gets your cheek quite well. If you're out and about and you want to top up, it's really convenient. I like that a lot. Um, the next one I just realised has leaked all over my carpet, which I'm really not impressed by, and I might have to go and get something to clear it up, but it is um, a shower gel, kind of random, and it's the original source Men, I don't know why this is for men, because obviously I'm not a man even though I sound like one at the moment, um, I don't know why they've said this is for men, because 
it doesn't smell like a man. If you guys have tried the original, original sauce scent, like the mint one, the mint sauce, original sauce, whatever, um, this is the XXX Extra Strong with Black Mint one, so it's extra minty. Um, yeah, I think they've marketed it men. I don't know why. I think this is great for girls too. Really refreshing. Um, just I love stuff like that in the morning, like I either like mint or citrus shower gels. I just think they really wake you up and they're just really refreshing and nice. So I've been loving that and this is like a pound, one pound fifty or something from pretty much every supermarket and Boots and Superdrug, all those places. So the last beauty product that I've been loving, well it's not really a beauty product but it's a hair appliance, um, is the Babyliss. I'm trying to remember what exactly what this is called. I'm pretty confident it's called the Waving Wand and looks like this. Now I've had the Babyliss Conical Wand for over a year and I absolutely loved it and I couldn't wait to try this and I, it's been out for ages and you know when you really want to try something but I finally got my hands on it and it's basically like a flattened conical wand if that makes sense kind of oval shaped if you can see there um, but I just find this really good for creating waves like I'm wearing now and I know I did a video about two weeks ago saying how I like wearing my hair straight all the time then I got this and I started using this and in the last few videos I've had my hair wavy and I've had so many compliments from you guys and I want to sit as well say thank you so much for everybody who said that they like my hair in those videos. Um, I didn't have time to say thank you to everybody and I like, feel really bad because there was quite a lot of comments so thank you if you like my hair in that video. It is all due to this um, Babyliss waving wand and if you want me to do a tutorial I will do. Um, it's basically very simple though, it's just like a conical one you just wrap it around. Um, one thing with this that I found to be better than my last conical wand was the fact that um, with the other one, because it was tapered, like it started fat and went skinny, I found like your hair slips down a little bit and I run out of space because I've got quite long hair. Um, I found you kind of run out of space whereas this one does the whole of my hair perfectly so I really really like this. And they're not too expensive either and it's purple too which I like too. <laughs> so there we go. Um, that is it for beauty products. I do have a few other things that are like, not beauty related at all. The first thing is my phone cover and I've had this, I must have had this for over a month now but I just love it and I've totally forgotten to show you guys it. Um, a while ago in one of my vlog videos, I, when I first got my iPhone 4, I asked about cases for it and if anybody knew where to get any cool cases and one of the companies I got recommended quite a lot was Uncommon so I went on their website and checked it out and basically you can design your own case. So this is what my iPhone case looks like. If you guys can see, it's woof, my dog on there. And then on the side, you can see it says uncommon, and that's it there. So basically you can put any picture you want on these cases, and I thought this was so good. I just, I love it, and everybody notices it as well. They're like, oh my god, is that woof on your phone? Like, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so I love that. They're kind of expensive to get a hold of in the UK because it's a US company, and they charge you quite a lot for shipping. Um, but if you're in the States, these are $40. This actually sparks a little bit of a debate between me and my boyfriend because I thought that was quite a good deal for getting your own picture on an iPhone case. I mean, you can go into the Apple store and spend $40 is just over £25, so probably nearer £30, £27, something like that. You can go into the Apple store and spend £25 on a case and it be just a plain black iPhone case. And I thought that that, like $40, $25 is a good price for this because it's like, you know, you're not going to get this anywhere else. So um, even though my boyfriend thought it was a bit of a rip-off, I thought it was a good deal. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think if you think that's a lot to spend on a case. Um, I thought it was good for a personalised one anyway, so um, yeah. I love that. I love Woof anyway, she just, she's so cute. Anyway, that's my phone, so Uncommon. I think it's getuncommon.com, I'll put a link in the information bar. And the last thing, this is so weird, um, is a sinus spray. <laughs> I feel so weird including this in a video. But as you can tell, and as I said, I've been ill. And um, I thought I would tell you guys about this because my brother told me about this. And after I started using it, I wish he'd told me sooner. Um, basically, if you have a blocked nose or a cold or anything, um, pick up Octravine. It's a nasal spray and it just totally clears your sinuses and makes you feel so much better. Um... This one's run out now, which is really, really annoying. I'm going to have to go out and buy another one. I think they're £4. You can buy them in boots um, in the UK. I'm not sure about international availability of this. I think, who knows. Um, but, yeah, my brother has quite bad sinus problems. Um, and he's used this for ages. And last time I had a cold, he was like, oh, why don't you get that spray? It's really good. So I got some, and it's amazing. So random recommendation there. So that's my last one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, 
I hope you weren't too bothered by my ill soundingness. That didn't really make sense. But yeah, I hope you guys had a great month and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.